And then, you know, you see guys in Silicon Valley putting up $2 trillion to make a quantum computer that can break out of the simulation. Why are they doing this? And it's like, okay, so that means somebody programmed the karma into this. But if you study history, you know, there are several rulers who murdered millions. Right. And they died of old age, rich, with harems of women. What was his karma? It boils down to what you believe, because we all energy. Facts. We could definitely have, never mind. We gonna talk agree about to that disagree. Honest. You know. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. There's so much going on in the world. We can all be right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because the, the our world is built on three things, sound, light, and frequency. <laughs> I was, now I was gonna say, because uh, I believe things, everything should be able, can be quantified. For sure. So we talk about quant, just energy and karma. Like you was talking about a man died, he had Who's millions of dollars and harems of women, but he probably couldn't even get his dick hard. <laughs> he had 400 yeah, children. That too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in, in the 80s, in your 80s, it ain't, you know, it's over with. You feel me? You eating pussy all night. Hey, you joke, know what I'm saying? So, you know, joke. you right. got to think about that. Right. So, what, what my opinion is on it is I feel like when people get out of there, for instance, like if you're your pedigree or something, like if you're a lion, right? When you start doing things that lions don't do, <laughs> that's where your karma comes from. <laughs> that, Absolutely. I like that. That's a good theory. So if you, for instance, say if you're a killer, your karma is not going to come as far because if that's what you truly are, but if I go out and kill somebody, which I'm not a killer, my karma is coming a little way faster than your karma would ever come. For sure, because you know a killer going to move a certain way. Right. And you know, like all, I said all of these things to say this, like, you know, in order for us to make any type of debt or change in our community, we have to continue thinking. Because the moment we stop thinking, now we become stagnant. And then now that autonomy kicks in and there's no progress being made. So I, I said all of these things because people always ask me, like, how do we help the community? How do we save the community? The only way to help or save any of our people it's to force everyone to continuously think. That's the only way to do it. Straight up and down.